Hi KB, it's Mr. Vezda. Today we're going to take a look at a short non-fiction story and learn a little bit more about headings. Now, um, we've talked about headings at school a few times this year before today. So you should remember that headings are um, something that we see in non-fiction stories and they tell us what the next part of the story is going to be about. So a heading um, looks a little different than most of the words or sentences in the story. And it shows us when a new section of the story is about to begin and it tells us what that story is going to be about. So our nonfiction story, the title of the story is called From Here to There. Okay, that's not necessarily a heading, that's actually what the story is called. And I'll show you the headings as we get to them. A little hint is that the headings um, in our story will mostly be in red. Now, when after we read the story, we're going to work in your work, workbook on page 24 and 25. So you might want to have that open as well, just so you're ready. But if you're ready to get started, we'll start with the story from here to there. It says, here's a look at how people traveled long ago and how we travel today. Now, our first heading is right here. You can see it in red. Okay, this heading says long ago. This heading is telling us that in the next part of the story, we are going to read about how people traveled a long time ago. And here's what it says. Many years ago, people traveled in stagecoaches pulled by horses. The trip was slow and uncomfortable. If we turn the page. Oh, we're still in, since we don't have a new heading, you can see that we're still going to be talking about long ago. Because that was the last heading we saw. Headings kind of also show us when a new section is about to start. So we're still talking about long ago, and it says, Next, people traveled by train. The ride was not comfortable. Then along came the car. At, very, at first, very few people traveled in cars. The roads were bumpy and full of dust. Before long, some people were traveling in small, noisy airplanes. The airplanes could not go far, however. Now, when we look at the next page, we see a new heading in red. Headings will always look different than the, the words and sentences in the rest of the story. So you can tell when you look at a heading that you know a new section is about to start. So we see our red font again, and this heading says today. That heading is telling us now, instead of reading about how people traveled a long time ago, we're going to read about how people travel today. Okay? And this part of the story says, today, many people use cars to get from place to place. Now cars are fast and comfortable. The roads are good, too. People also travel by bus. Buses hold more than a stagecoach ever could. People also take the train to work or on longer trips. The train is clean, comfortable, and fast. Some people fly in jumbo jets. Jets take us to faraway places without stopping. They are quieter and have more room than the planes from long ago. How do you like getting from here to there? Okay, so when we think about this nonfiction story that is about real places and real things, it had two sections, and this, the headings told us about those sections. The first heading, long ago, told us that that part of the story was going to be about how people traveled a long time ago. Then the second section of the story had a different heading that said today, and that told us how people travel today. Now, if we take a look at page 24 and 25, we can talk a little bit about this story and um, just do a, few, a little bit of work with it. 
So you can see one of our pictures from the story on page 24. Okay, now let's talk about the directions first. It says, look at the painting of the people riding on the stagecoach. Here's the painting. This is called the stagecoach and it was pulled by horses. Okay, talk about how it shows people and things from long ago. Now, if we think, if we look at this picture and we think about what they told us in the story, look how crowded these people on this are on the stagecoach. Look at the road. Do you think this was a very comfortable ride? No, I don't either. It would take a long time. It was kind of dangerous and it definitely wasn't comfortable. Okay. So when we take a look at page 25, now it says, look at pages 33 and 35. What do the words in red tell you? Well, this is great because we already just talked about this. We know that if we look at page 33, the words in red are our headings. And those headings tell us what the next part of the story is going to be about. Here's one that says long ago. And then on page 35, our red heading says today. We go back to our work workbook. It says talk about why the author organized this text into long ago and today. What information do these titles tell? Well, we can talk about this a little bit together. Okay. Would this story make a lot of sense if the author kept jumping back and forth between telling us about things that happened long ago and things that happened today? No, it wouldn't make much sense at all. Okay. I like how the story has two parts and they use a heading for each part. So we know when the author is talking about a long time ago and when the author is talking about today. If he was jumping back and forth a lot, the story could be very, very confusing. Now, we just have two questions to answer, and it's going to be about what we just talked about. So this shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Now, what does the author tell about in long ago? I think... And I don't think I'm, you are going to have space to answer in a complete sentence, which is okay. But if we look at this painting, this is a big, big hint. Now, that they just want us to pick one thing. And I'm going to use this painting as a hint for our answer. And we're going to write a long word. So you might want to write kind of small if you want to fit it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see my words a little bigger when I type them. I'm going to scroll over to our first question. And I'm going to think about that painting to tell about what the author discussed in long ago. And that that um, vehicle, one of our vocab words, in the painting was called a stagecoach. So I'm going to write or type the word stage coaches, which is a compound word. Two words smashed together, you know, stage coaches. We can put them together to get stage coaches. I'm going to put our sight word with, and then I'm going to put the word horses. So you can take a pencil or a pen or a marker, or crayon, whatever you have. And I'm not going to put a period because this is not a full sentence. We're just going to write the words stage coaches with horses. So take your time. I'll give you um, plenty of time to write those three words. The word stagecoaches is very long, so make sure you are writing small enough where you can fit those three words on that line. I know they don't give you enough, a lot of space, but you can make it fit. Okay, we're going to take a look at the second question. If you're still writing, you can finish up. You'll still be able to see it on the screen. Stagecoaches with horses. Now, this first question was about the section of the story with the heading that said long ago. 
The next question is going to be about the section of the story that started with the heading that said today. So this question is the same question, but just about a different section. It says, what does the author tell about in today? Now, I'm going to take, if, if you're still writing, just take a break. I'm going to click back over so we can look at that section again to remind ourselves. Okay. Oh, here's the heading today. And I can use the picture to help us. Okay. Now, I'm going to challenge you to write a little smaller for this one because I want to see if we can talk about all four vehicles in this answer. I'm going to start with cars. Then I'm going to put buses, trains, then I'm going to use our sight word and, and then I'm going to put gets at the end. Once again, I'm not going to put a period at the end because these are just, um, these five words do not make up a full sentence. It's just answering the question without a sentence. If I wanted to put it in a sentence, I would say the author tells about cars, buses, trains, and jets, but I definitely don't have enough space to write that. So I'm just gonna put these words. Now you're gonna have to write pretty small if you wanna fit these in your workbook. So let's see if you can do it. Cars, buses, trains, and jets. Keep writing, finish on up. So today we learned all about headings. Remember, we see headings, especially in nonfiction stories, and headings tell us what the next part of the story is going to be about. So in our story from here to there, the heading long ago told us all about different vehicles and ways people got from here to there a long time ago. The heading today told us all about how people use vehicles to get from here to there today and how much easier it is compared to a long time ago. If you finished riding cars, buses, trains, and jets, you are done with our reading work for the day. Hope you have a great weekend, KB. I miss you guys.